Hi everybody. Hey, remember me? It's Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch Sustainable Living Center in far west Texas. I don't have Eco the Eco Watchdog with me because she'd run around and I'd be looking like this. And I want to talk to you directly because you might wonder what happened to us. Why did the video stop? Where am I? Am I alive? Well, obviously I'm alive. I stopped doing videos because I got super busy with the campground and I was running out of stuff to say and I haven't done any videos because what's happened now is technology has gotten ahead of where I am. Uh, everybody's going to lithium batteries. I've got lead acid. My technology, my knowledge is behind. The house is mostly finished now. I've got some finish work on the inside I'll tell you about in a moment. But there just isn't a whole lot to do. And so I, um, I stopped. Well, I could start up, I guess, but I'd just be doing vlogs. And to tell you the truth, I got old. All of a sudden, I got arthritis in these hands. All of a sudden, my arms were always tired and sore. I got old. People warned me it would happen, uh, and it did. About six weeks ago, my last sister died suddenly at age 80. I'm 69. If I went that long, I hope to go a lot longer, but if that's all the time I had, do I really want to spend the last 11 years working hard here and then die suddenly or die suddenly tomorrow and leave Debbie with this place that she doesn't have a clue how to run? So we've made a difficult decision. We're completely retiring from the videos, from doing all this work, and we're selling the Eco Ranch. So this will be the last video except I'm going to do one more that might be five or five, seven minutes of just walking around the place for the real estate agents. So this is farewell. It's been a long time, but I remember when I, went, when I moved to the Arctic in 1975, my mother was, uh, oh, I can't remember, 63, I think. And I said, Mom, you know, something might happen to you while I'm gone. And she said, yeah, it might, but you have to remember that everything in life is always changing. Nothing is going to stay the same. Guys, I got old, I can't help it, I'm gonna retire. Where am I going? Debbie and I are selling out here and we're going to go to the Thumb of Michigan, right up there, and um, we'll try to live as sustainably as we can, but we're not going to work this hard. We won't have the livestock, the animals, and I'm going to get a little fishing boat and fish in Lake Huron and around in the smaller lakes there. I can have a little garden in the thumb. It's still good um, um, good farmland, but we're just gonna retire. Um, you have to sometimes, I, I gotta tell you, the, old, the, the hardest decision you ever have to make in your life is going to be the one where you finally say, I'm old. So please um, wish us well and understand that this is the end and I thank you all for following us, but you can help me. The Eco Ranch is for sale. Right now, it's for sale. Now I'm facing almost due east, so I'm gonna point here for a moment. Over here are 33 campsites, two rental rooms, and the bathhouse that has two bathrooms and a kitchen, other amenities other than that as well. That business, the name Eco Ranch, the email, the telephone numbers, that business is for sale also. That business, in season from November to April, earns us, a, earns us at this age about $50,000 a year. Somebody 20 years younger than me could build a couple extra rental rooms, could promote it a little more. You could make a lot more money than that. The business is still out there. And for the price we're asking for the property, that $50,000 a year is way more than the money would make put in the bank or in a money market. So the campground's out there. We, we tried to drill a well. We, hit a, we did not hit any water here. There's no water. We went to 400 feet, so there's a dry well. I dammed up the Arroyo this time professionally using the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to help me. And the Arroyo is completely dammed. Whenever it rains, we get a million and a half gallons in the lake that's all that's below ground level. Then it backs up to the arroyo to about seven million gallons and then it diverts out so it doesn't overtop. 
that water stays for a couple of months so that's all the water you need along with 20,000 gallons of storage here the lake is a huge selling point for the campers so you've got the business over here behind me you've got the 2700 square foot house it's almost completely finished I've got some drywall and mudding and painting to do on the inside I do have some rock work on the outside and the uh, south facing wall can't do it in the summer don't want to do it so it's going to stay somebody's going to have to hire the rock work out five six thousand dollars to finish the rock work two bedrooms two bathrooms the ability to take this first room the one I'm pointing at behind me and make a third bedroom very easily there 2700 square foot house um, two car carport I can't call it a garage it's a two car carport horse corral with a, a stable in it you've got the chicken coops um, and the animal yard you've got a 1600 square foot greenhouse all there today which is I think it's the 26th of uh, August 2022 today it's priced at three hundred ninety nine thousand dollars that's right in the market for what the place is worth if you're interested in it the link is going to be down below that gives you our realtor do not contact me about pricing I can tell you everything you want to know about the house you want to talk about pricing terms anything that's a realtor's job so that's that there will be a video that walks around and, and, and explains the whole property all of you folks though if you followed me especially the ones that have followed me and, and followed me and donated and helped you can help me one last time and it won't cost a penny tell everybody you know that the eco ranch all 20 acres of the eco ranch and the business which is the eco ranch campground are for sale help me find a buyer I'd like to get out of here as soon as I can because I'm concerned Debbie's health is failing some and I haven't gotten into that and I won't that's personal with us I'm going downhill a little bit help me if you can sell it thank you for all your support over the years and all your help and just understand that everything has a beginning and everything has an end and this is the end but I thank you all for everything and wish you very well so for the last time, it's Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch Sustainable Living Center in far west Texas saying thank you.